Hello everyone, I'm Hillary with Dominion Tea, and today we're going to talk about Heng Sheng Mao Feng. Yes, it's a mouthful, but it is a beautiful Chinese tea. Um, it really hit its popularity in the late 1800s and is one of the older and more popular Chinese teas. It has lots of fun myths, whether you've got the maiden who is told that she's not allowed to marry the scholar and the scholar is found dead in a tea field and she cries over him and he turns into a tea plant. Or you have a dragon who pulls the plant off of the Yellow Mountain. It, there's all sorts of myths. But the good part about this tea um, is it is an absolutely beautiful representation of a baked green tea out of China. So a couple of things about it. It's only harvested in the spring, much like Dragonwell, uh, the high quality ones get harvested before the King Ming holiday in April. It is the bud and the first leaf of the plant. Uh, everything is done to try to preserve them together. Um, you will get a large variation in colors of green on this tea when you look at the baked leaves. Um, but it, the process to make it really dialed in in the late 1800s as the Chinese went into flash and uh, dry baking from the steaming that they had taught the Japanese about. And it's that kind of hard bake on metal and in a pan that allows them to keep the tea leaf shape uh, and to preserve kind of the variations in green color, as well as some of the fur that is valued on the back of the tea leaves. You're not gonna see that too much when you go to brew it. Now, of course, we put this in a gaiwan. This is a perfect tea if you like to drink out of a gaiwan because you're gonna get a lot of the small particulate that's gonna be on the inside of the bud in the first leaf that will have kind of broken off and gotten into the blend uh, just through moving around as it makes its way through the channel to you. And so this is a beautiful representation of green because you're gonna get a nice dry grass. You're even gonna get some spice on this. So don't be surprised if you drink it and you pick up parsley, star anise. Um, there are lots of different flavors tied into this beautiful green tea that is really brought forth through that baking process. So brew this at a lower temperature. You're looking for 175 degrees, um, three minutes. Quite frankly, if you're going in the Gaiwan, um, because of the amount of quantity, right? You want to build, build up bottom third. You're going to do this in 15 second increments. Um, and the second and third steep through is really going to bring in the color and that, that kind of vegetal and spicy flavor for you. So go out, enjoy, and keep exploring tea. We hope you enjoyed learning more about tea with us. Hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified when we add more videos to our channel. And check out the highlighted videos to learn even more about tea. And last but not least, you can check out all of the teas we talk about in our videos at dominiontea.com.